of Lake Tanganyika. The lake is so large and blue that it looks like an ocean. Gombe National Park, the chimpanzee paradise, is located by the lake and features spectacular waves. Different varieties of tropical fish swim leisurely, welcoming us. The sun sets on this beautiful blue lake. Oh! Guide Mr. Mkunde awakens the quiet park in the morning. He signals to see where the chimpanzees are. To encounter the chimpanzees, who are drawn to food, it is important to be perfectly healthy and to wear outdoor clothes. Chimpanzees develop a sense of family and express hierarchy and group roles through grooming. Since chimpanzee DNA is 98% identical to human DNA, anyone who has a fever or a cold should stay away from the chimpanzees. Chimpanzees express their anger, joy, and annoyance. Baby chimpanzees learn from their mothers. We can see signs that chimpanzees are nearby as we move along the stream. Some of them, they found their way chimpanzees are smart enough to make and use tools. They can beat hard fruits so they can eat the flesh inside. You will have a wonderful experience watching wild chimpanzees near the Gombe National Park. Chimpanzees are able to support their bodies with their fingers. They walk on all fours, move in the daytime, and sleep at night. Chimpanzees communicate with one another by grooming and touching each other. They are similar to humans, as they have hearts like ours. Umwam Gongo village is located at the foot of Gombe Mountain, which is at the border of Gombe National Park. The people live in this village with the chimpanzees. They adopt themselves to nature and live with gratitude to Mother Nature. Come to Gombe National Park and meet them, which lives a simple but happy lifestyle. When the train from Dar es Salaam, the economic capital of Tanzania, arrives in Kiguma, the train station is crowded. Mahale Mountain National Park 
previously suffered from irregular land and air transportation. We can now get to Mahale Mountain National Park by traveling from Kigoma to Shigunga for three hours by car, enjoying the shifting scenery and traveling on a speedboat for two hours. We take a rest at Banda, which is full of the fragrances of the woods. We will encounter the Mahale mountain chimpanzees that live in this African forest. The rain that started falling in the morning has finally stopped, and ants with wings fly in the forest. Mr. Lusoma, a trekker, is wandering close to the chimpanzees again today. As chimpanzees move from tree to tree to find fruit, it is difficult for us to follow them when they are on the move. Tourists can find chimpanzees when they have found their favorite fruit, as the chimpanzees will then stay still for a while. Chimpanzees have long fingers, so they can easily grab branches and fruit when they climb up trees. Baby chimpanzees learn from their mothers which fruits and leaves are edible and how to live in the forest. Male chimpanzees need to be strong to be an alpha male. They improve their strength by playing with others and climbing up trees. After several hours, the trekker found the chimpanzees. A mother chimpanzee shows others how to catch ants using a tool. And a baby chimpanzee follows her. Could the baby succeed? It does not work well. It is not easy to teach babies how to survive and be strong. Chimpanzees strengthen their family ties through grooming. They drink water without tools as they are strong and masculine long-haired chimps. Chimpanzees live in groups, and there is a clear hierarchy in groups of chimpanzees. The alpha male needs to control and lead a group. It sometimes engages in violent actions and screams to control or threaten other males in the group. Being an alpha male is harsh and it has heavy responsibilities. The alpha male needs to protect the group from enemies always takes the lead. Leading by example is the obligation of an alpha male.
Morogoro is an educational city located in the eastern inland area of Tanzania. Mr. Mdamu and his family are going on safari to celebrate the birthday of the youngest daughter. The family looks forward to today. It was a hard week for Mr. and Mrs. Ndamu, but going on safari with their kids to see wild animals is a big reward. Mikumi National Park is the only national park where its center is accessible by railroad Kamak Road. It takes a two-hour drive of Morogoro Town. Buffaloes take a mud bath to stay cool and keep away from bugs. They move to other areas as a thirsty elephant approaches. Elephants, which are over one ton, is a giant of the savanna. It dominates other animals with its size. The wild animals of Mikumi National Park are simply beautiful and unique. When the sun sets in the park, the animals take a rest, and Mr. Ndamu's family celebrates the youngest daughter's birthday with special foods Ms. Ndamu has prepared. The sun rises and the animals begin to move slowly. Every blade of grass, tree and animal is a surprise for kids who go on a safari. All of baboons play in trees starting early in the morning. <laughs> Giraffes on the road do not move, blocking Mr. Umdamu's car. Lions, the kings of the savanna, are playing. Mornings in the wilderness are exciting for kids. Mr. Umdamu forgot to introduce the animals to the kids as he is busy taking photos. The kids enjoy looking at their father's photos. They move to a pond where the hippos and crocodiles live. Ducklings swim with their mothers and crocodiles and hippos swim underwater to stay cool in the dry season. Mr. Undamu's family is busy watching the wild animals, which they have only seen before in books. Buffaloes can be as heavy as one ton, but they are well known for their gentle nature they run 60 kilometers per an hour and live in large groups. Their large horns, which can be seen from far away, are effective weapons. So lions do not hunt buffaloes when they are alone, although buffaloes are herbivores. Wild animals are amazing to see, but kids love to play. The kids have a sullen look as their mother calls them. The kids leave the Mukumi National Park with unforgettable memories.
the park will wait for the kids to come back someday. The Sanjay Waterfall is 170 meters high, and it is the highest waterfall in Tanzania. The clear water in the mountain flows to Mbeya, a granary in the south of Tanzania. Mr. Umfoi and Mr. Mpinga, who live in Mangula, nearby Udujungwa Mountain, decided to go trekking. They will go to Udujungwa Mountain National Park which is a magnet for hikers from around the world. The tourism warden, Mr. Haruma Shao, will bring them to Unjokamoni Trail first. There are seven trails at the park, and trekkers can select one. These trails can take from one hour to five days to travel. They meet a blue monkey which is very curious, walking in the closed canopy rainforest. These monkeys move very quickly from tree to tree, eating their favorite fruits and playing with their friends. They go deep into the mountain to see the true characteristics of Udu Jungwa Mountain National Park. There are 10 waterfalls in the national park. water drops touching their faces are simply refreshing. The roaring waterfall magically quenches their thirst. The fresh air and clear water of Udu Jungwa Mountain cheered them up. They begin trekking again putting forth their strength. And here we have 11 species of primates, and two of them are found only here in Zungwa. The Sanje crested mangabey and the Iringa red colobus. People, they need to watch mangabey because they are unique and endangered species only. That's why it's very important. Mountain Udu Jungwa, with its diverse fruits, is a paradise for mangabey. People living near Udu Jungwa use the trees and herbs from Udu Jungwa for therapeutic purposes. The trees of Udu Jungwa National Park keep people relaxed and help safeguard the village. The Iringa red colobus monkeys can only be seen at Udu Jungwa, and their hair is as red as the sun at the equator. They move from tree to tree, just like other monkeys, but they are much more sociable. They are friends with the black and white colobus. They spend their days together on the same tree. They begin to explore Udujungwa National Park again. Unique and important primates live at Udujungwa National Park. That is why it is called the Galapagos of Africa. Treasures hidden by the gods at Udujungwa National Park have not yet been discovered. The ecosystem of Udujungwa National Park is still a mystery. The Oringa Red Colobus was not discovered by biologists until 1979.
we can see the entire ridge of Udu Jungwa Mountain at the Twiga Hotel. A campfire burns in front of the tent, and the friends have a great time talking deep into the night. Kitulo National Park is called Bustani Yamungu, the Garden of Gods. The best season to visit Kitulo National Park is the rainy season, which spans from November to April, but the road is slippery during this time. There are two ways to get to Kitulo National Park. We can take the main Tanzania, Zambia Tamak Road, from Umbea for an hour and then head south at Chimala. Or we can take the road to Iringa for one and a half hours, go up to the mountain and pass through Matamba village. Kitulo National Park is Africa's first national park and was designated to protect Africa's unique flowers in 2005. The park is a small national park in Tanzania, and its area is 466 square kilometers. There are more than 2,000 species of flowers, including 45 varieties of orchids, in the southern highlands, in the winds and sunshine of Tanzania. Over 30 varieties of flowers, including ground orchids, red-hot hookers, and gladioli, live only in this area. Wildflowers are in full bloom, although no one has taken care of them. The sun is their mother, and the rain and the wind are their friends. These flowers are unique and perfectly beautiful. Flowers dance to the breeze. blackberries in the mountain, which surround the plateau that features beautiful flowers, show just how sweet nature is. While trekking along a trail in the mountain, we see a surprise. We can hear a waterfall roaring overhead. The roaring sound of the waterfall and the cold water drops are just refreshing. Flowers are not only visited by butterflies and bees, but a wide variety of birds at Kitulo National Park. The wave of fresh flowers stretches as far as the eye can see.
Mr. Iwamoto leaves on a light plane and heads toward Rubondo Island National Park, which is located in the southern part of Lake Victoria. The Rubondo Island, uninhabited for decades, and features a pristine tropical forest. The main island, which houses over 400 varieties of nesting birds, and is known as the Island of Birds and the Island of Crocodiles, is well preserved, as humans have never inhabited this place. The most popular activity for visitors is sports fishing. And they hope to catch Nile perch, which are sometimes as large as 100 kilograms. He cannot catch anything, although he tried very